Hello everyone, this is Joseph K, and welcome back to more Let's Play Monster Zombies Ate My Neighbors Beta version. In the last part, we had a little bit of fail, not too much. Uh, that 12B bonus was pretty difficult with the precise time, but I think if memory serves, the difficulty is about to pick up. So, let's see here. Terrified to the bone. Chopping Maw. And this time around, it's a baby. That's there, not a dog. Because if you guys remember from the original, or the canon version of Zombies Ate My Neighbors, it was a dog there. And also notice, no bazookas over there by that guy. I think that, uh, teacher over there is safe. So long as you don't activate the second Chainsaw Maniac. Yeah, they got rid of the bazookas here. And I also want to point something out when I see another victim. I've not pointed it out yet. Gotta watch out for this one. This is like when the victims really start getting difficult. At least in the canon version. And I have an Eva Bella trying to go for me because I'm trying to clip my uh, mic. Only because I'm sick and might go to random coughing fits throughout the recording. Um, I noticed that I missed an A kit. Come over here, best friend. Thank you for giving us a pathway. So, yeah, I missed an A kit in level 9B. And as I'm recording this, it is Black Friday. And guess who did not do anything with the Black Friday hype? Me. But I did work a bunch of overtime, so that's a good thing. Yay, but we did that level. Um, I think it's starting at this point, I'm going to start using uh, save states between levels. Or at least save states before... Well, maybe not. I don't know yet. I really shouldn't use any save states between levels this early in the game, at least. But <coughs> I am going for all 10 victims, so it might actually make that a little bit easier to accomplish. But we didn't have too much difficulties with that level. Definitely did better in that level this time around than my first playthrough of this level. Way back when, when I recorded it at my uh, 3DS. I think that was a monster potion, the original. Might have been a ghost potion. Alright, 14. Now, I don't know if you have time to do this. The Dead Die Hard. Another title change. I actually forget what this is called in the canon version. I don't know if you still have time to access this. To get all these Taurus couples. 
before it gets dark. Oh yeah, you do. And that was changed in the uh, canon version. I think there's only three Taurus couples in here. I hope there's only three Taurus couples in here. Now that guy up there is actually at a higher risk in this version than he is in the canon version. But let's go over here and get these goodies. Or whatever's over here. There's probably nothing like super crazy with the goodies over here. Because there's no uh money in this one. Also, they use that, uh, what, 3-4 or 3-C or whatever the heck it is. Or 3-F, it's 3-F. That you could, if you were actually able to get in here, you could utilize that for, you know, unlimited items. Actually, I think it's better to go this way. Oh, no goodies over here. Yeah, I don't think this guy is at any risk. He's not at any risk, but, uh, huh. <laughs> so this guy up here... is at a higher risk in this version than he is in the canon version. He's also at a lower number victim in this one than he is in the canon version. I think he's number 10 in canon, but I think he's 9 in this one. Alright, so you know what to do with this. Maybe we could do it. Damn it, I have to redo this level. Take two. Only because I'm making myself get all ten victims in all levels when I can. Oh, yeah. Hopefully this is my successful attempt. Got him that time. Excellent. So I don't foresee myself having any more difficulties in this level. Now, as I showed in my initial Let's Play of this, you don't have to. Oh yeah, there's no money there, by the way. You don't have to use Speed Shoes to rescue him, it just increases your chances. <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing y'all's ear. I'll try to mute that in the future. Really, the only thing that using the Speed Shoes does is make it better for you. Otherwise, you just have to use a few more Pandora's boxes. Not the end of the world. But yeah, notice that the, even though the explorers say they're supposed to be 500 points, they only give you 100.
And as I'm going to be doing in all these, there will not be any fail montages going on. Not unless I just have an absolutely glorious fail that needs to be kept in for whatever reason. But even then, I wouldn't put it as a fail montage. Uh, I remember back in the days when... Oh yeah, we're not out of the water yet. Forgot about this baby. I remember back in the days when I thought there was supposed to be a bazooka, a, not a bazooka, but a shotgun. In this level. Those were the days. One thing I'm noticing, it seems, it could be just my imagination, but it seems the uh, spikes aren't programmed to kill you right away. Like, it seems like there's a brief moment of invincibility for them. But maybe that's just my imagination. All right, we got everything in this level, so hallelujah. I don't think there's anything up here. Dinner on Monster Island. And I'm pretty sure they have the tourist couple that still transforms in here. Sir, why didn't you die, sir? Looks like they got rid of that skeleton key that's over here. You know, that kind of sucked because I had to redo 12, so I no longer have that skeleton key. And they also used the wrong tiles for this. But we're almost done. This stage isn't too bad. So, hmm. Now I'm curious. Oh, look it! They added an explorer there and got rid of the dog. So, I don't know what I'm going to have to do. Because in order to get 22B, I am fairly certain you need to be able to get the skeleton key. 
Of course, cabinets. Wasting time. Probably should have used this, but I'm curious. I'm curious if they actually truly did get rid of this uh, skeleton key at this level. Yeah, it looks like they did get rid of the skeleton key at this level. Well, hopefully I can find a skeleton key between here and there. Alright, let's get out of the stage. Oh yay, a monster potion that I don't need. Well, at least I can go here. Might be crazy, but I think it also didn't give me the all victim save bonus. <coughs> Shit, I gotta block that. Alright, now this stage is a little bit more difficult. If you manage to go to 0B, you would have a Martian Bubble Gun. However, the Martian Bubble Gun is entirely ineffective against the ants. And I will display that. Well, I don't think I can display that. Not unless it's in a later level. Uh oh, Lord. And of course, I'm going to take the hard way. Although I do want to fire at least one bazooka shot. Oh yeah, he's up there. Because I don't want the no bazooka fired bonus. All right, we're good. Ordinarily, I just follow this thing in its circle and just go that way. But I don't want to do that for this. Oh, hello. What are y'all doing over there? I didn't even realize the ants spawned over there. All 
Alright, making sure I actually did unmute myself for what I coughed. Lauren? You need to give me my items and let me have them. Okay, so before going to 17, cross in speed juice. Assuming 17 is the level that it was in the original. Alright, and the password is KKCY. So, how much harder is this hat going to get? Find out next time on Let's Play Monsters. Zombies Ate My Neighbors Beta. This has been Joseph K. I'd like to thank all y'all very much for watching. Y'all have a great day, and keep it real. Later!